Hello, my name is Sip Mendes. Welcome to Sip's Wood Chips. And what I wanted to do today was um, try something out. This is kind of a, a try and see project. And um, I've been making, you know, different types of jam chucks for, for uh, turning bowls or the backside of bowls especially. And I've been using these uh, face plates. And these face plates are getting hard for me to find. It's not so much that they're hard to find as that they're expensive, I guess is what I really should say. The little three inch ones, I uh, used to be able to get them for about $18. Now they want uh, it was about $23, $26. And the uh, larger ones are even more. And I have seen uh, other people make face plates. And uh, they've uh, used wooden threads where they they buy the uh, tap. Uh, and uh, those are the taps are expensive too. Well, I was looking online because I know that other people have made them from uh, nuts. You can find what I need are one and a quarter by eight. And uh, I know you can buy nuts that size, grind them, fit them to a to a uh, wood face plate, and uh, do it that way. I was um, online at Amazon and I found these. These they call inserts and it is threaded one and a quarter by eight threads per inch which is the same as my Nova th my Nova wood length and so I'm gonna try to take one of these and make myself a faceplate with metal threads instead of wood threads uh, they include these three um, screws but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use them and so I'm gonna remove those And I'm going to start with a, um, some small pieces of wood like these. These little blocks are um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter, that, which is about 83 um, millimeters eight, or 8.3 centimeters. And um, I just, these are uh, yellow pine. And what I'm going to do is glue them together with the grain going in opposite. Uh, uh, directions. That means one going up and down, one going uh, side to side. I'm going to glue those together and I'm going to use that as my first layer. These uh, inserts, they're only one and a half inches thick so that'll be the same uh, thickness as the, uh, as the wood. And what I'll do is drill down into it. I'm going to drill a hole and that hole is going to be one and three quarters and I will drill it only one and a half inches deep. So I'm going to start by um, gluing this together. Okay. And I've sanded them only lightly just to remove any dirt or um, loose dust or loose sawdust and things that, that might be in there. And uh, so I'm going to just use uh, yellow carpenter's glue. This is a uh, Tight Mon original. And don't need a whole lot of glue. Just move it a little bit. And these these surfaces seem to be quite flat. And they should hold together. Right? So I'm gonna put those in my vise. I'm sure I got them lined up properly. Probably blocking the view there. Off the bottom a little bit. And tighten them down, and let those uh, let that glue set up for at least a, an hour or so. Okay. While that's setting up, I have another piece of wood, and I'm going to make the uh, the face plate itself, and um, it's going to be as large as I can get out of this. It's going to probably be about five inches in diameter. Okay, so I need to find the center of it and I'll just draw across from the corners. And I'll place my compass in the center of that and I'll measure out to the close to the edge, just slightly inside. And I'll measure 
out to about the edge. And that should give me the maximum. Okay. And I'll go ahead and cut that out on the bandsaw. Now, here's my first one, and that didn't work out. It's split. This um, insert seems to be just a little bit over one and uh, three quarters inches. And so, what I think I'll do is go ahead and make another block, and I'm gonna bore it smaller. Instead of one and three quarters, I'll I'll bore it at one and five eighths. And then I'm going to mount it on the lathe, and then I will uh, enlarge the hole just slightly over one and three quarters. So I went ahead and I dislodged the uh, insert from the, uh, the wood. <laughs> didn't, that didn't work out very good. Totally broke apart. <clears throat> went get, now I have a new block, and I went ahead and drilled a smaller hole. This one, is, instead of being one and three quarters, it's only uh, one and five eighths. To turn it, I need a, a, a spigot to grab it, so I'm going to use hot glue. So here's the hot glue, and I'm going to put a nice big splat here. <clears throat> put that down on there so it stays warm. Put this in here quickly while it's still hot. And hopefully, we'll get a good bond. Okay, so I have my um, block and I have it mounted on my chuck. And um, the hole is too small, we know that. And I'm going to try to bore it out. And I'm going to use a badan. And if you're not familiar with a bedan, bedans are, are um, uh, trapezoid shaped. They're actually widest across the top and the sides get narrower. So when I put it against the, the wood at, at, at level, it shouldn't get stuck. I should be able to shave it straight on down. And I'm going to start, I'm going to true up this hole first and then bore it out to the full width. Yep, it's a bit off. Off center.
show you right now how wide it needs to be. It's going to be a little bit loose and hope the epoxy will hold it. <coughs> Actually took off a little bit more than I wish I would have, but maybe that'll work out. It seems like it's loose up here, but I need to go in a little bit further. This time when I push it, put it in, it shouldn't split. It feels like it's tapered slightly, which might be okay. I'm going to take off a little bit way down deep. It still feels like it's a little bit a little too much I'll try it there. So I'm going to make some epoxy here. And I'm going to need at least a nickel size, two nickel size spots. Mm, that should be good. So a small stick. Yeah, it's very important to mix these thoroughly, because otherwise, if you leave hardener that hasn't uh, mixed with the resin, it doesn't uh, ever harden. And uh, never mix your your epoxy in the the cavity that you're going to be putting it into. It will not harden. It's the hardener will penetrate some of the wood and it just never mixes with the resin. <clears throat> so it's about 92 degrees in the shop, so the heat will help it settle. It will help it set. So I'm going to put this inside and I'm going to cover mostly the walls. Be on the line, so we want to get it. And uh, I'm not going to use the uh, pin, so let me put some glue on there too.
put it in there as far as I can by hand. So we'll put it in the rest of the way using the, the pressure of the vise. And it should go in and leave only about a quarter inch of the uh, showing. Okay, that time it didn't split. There's no real point to uh, leaving it in the vise. Because it's actually the sides that are going to hold it in place. That looks pretty good. Okay, I have my uh, blank mounted on the lathe, and I'm, now I'm just going to, I've cut off the corners to, to make it just a le little bit easier, and the first thing I'm going to do is round it, and um, we'll try a, a half inch uh, spindle gouge. I still have quite a bit more to remove. So now I'm just going to square up the, the surface and um, I can probably use just a, a skew.
and it's a little shallow in the, in the center. So this is my sanding paddle. It's got uh, 60 grit on this side and uh, I think this is like 100 on this other side. Definitely chew it up. Okay, so now I need to make my next plate and mount that. So I'm ready to glue on my larger face plate. I have the center marked and I'll just use this and I'll just use my tailstock to, to uh, hold it in place. Smear that around a little bit. Make sure it's well spread out. That looks pretty good. Okay. Bring up our the center. Put that in there. Lock it down. Put a little pressure, and then we'll remove any excess. Okay. We'll let that dry overnight. It should be ready, ready in the morning. So here's my face plate. I think in my previous clip there, I said I was going to let this dry overnight. Well, it's actually about a month later. And uh, for our 40th anniversary, my wife and I went to uh, Europe for about three weeks, and we've been back a week now. And uh, so I was getting back to that last video I started. And so this is the face plate that I made. And it's made from a uh, steel insert that's threaded to uh, one and a quarter by eight threads per inch. And I think it's going to work out pretty good for me. This is a bit of an experiment. I haven't done this before. I don't know how strong it is. So I wouldn't use this for anything heavy. I'm primarily going to use this for turning the uh, undersides of uh, bowls, the foot on a bowl or the top of a small lid things like that. I would not recommend it for anything heavy. I wouldn't do any deep bowl uh, hollowing with it because it is wood and uh, I don't know how much strain it could possibly take before it failed. So I'm going uh, to use this for a while and I'll get back to you with an update. So if you've enjoyed this video click on like. If you're not a subscriber to YouTube click on subscribe. It's quick, it's easy. You can leave uh, questions, Get answers, leave comments. You guys take care.